We are getting ready to go camping. I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna show you everything we're packing and planning to eat while we go camping. Okay, first things first, let's walk through the snacks because that's the easiest thing for me to show you in this moment. In, an, in the other video I did, which was camping tips for moms, I share more about this container I'm about to show you, so make sure you go and watch that video. All right, so up on top, this is kind of how we store our snacks for when we have a, we have a pop-up trailer. Um, so up on top, what do we have up here, Kennedy? Um, this is like our bread bucket. We're going we have, camping today! We have lots of bread stuff. Um, so we have these like hoagie buns for sandwiches, right? Mm -hmm. We have hamburger, hamburger buns, buns. cause we had, we're gonna do hamburgers one night. Oh, spicy chips. There's some tortillas down there for breakfast burritos. Mm -hmm. What else do we have over here? Spicy yeah. chips. Big old, my favorite. Big old. Oh, Juices down here. We've got Bagel. some juices to go oh, in the cooler. So we, yeah. We have some oranges or clementines. These are just little individual packets of the protein drink that hubby and I like to drink in the morning. So, the way we work our dinners when we're camping, well, we're camping with ex with extended family, Tommy's parents, sister, yeah. and uncle and their families. So, um, I love the way that we do this. I would highly recommend it if you're camping in a group. We take turns cooking dinner. So breakfast and lunches are all individual families responsible for your own families. But dinners, we take turns. So um, Thursday night we're cooking for our family. No one else will be there. And then we're in charge of another night. We're gonna be, oh, other information. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So we're gonna be five nights, five days camping. Four families, we're each taking one night. So our night we're making hamburgers. Then the other nights, um, other families are gonna be making like, they're bringing pulled pork for pulled pork sandwiches. I think one night we're having pizza and then I'm not sure what we're having the other night. I'll update you as we go. So that kind of gives you some background on what we have going on in here. So hamburger buns for dinner one night. We're gonna have hoagie sandwiches for lunches some days. Another thing we like to do for lunches, cause well you're going beach camping. Um, so we pack a lunch every single day. So bagels and cream cheese is one thing that we're gonna be having for lunches. These chips are for our family dinner night. So we'll have hamburgers and chips and drinks. So those chips are for that. This is just a treat. Oh, we love these chips. Don't we love them? Yeah. We all love them. They're kind of spicy and they are back in season at Costco. Oh. Also gonna be sharing some packing tips for you guys because we do have a camping trailer and it does have a little mini fridge but it doesn't always work well. So we mostly work off of this storage container and then we bring a few coolers with us. So I'm gonna show you all the packing tips to go along with this. We have been camping with our kids for the last 10 years. We started, I mean, hubby and I have always loved Are camping. Are we camping for six nights? Five nights. We've always loved camping. And so as soon as we had kids, we started camping with our babies. I love camping with babies. You just hold them, bundle them up. It's one of my favorite things. Now our kids are a little older. Different kind of fun, still a lot of fun. So that's what we kind of keep up here. I also have prepped, it's Oliver's birthday on Saturday while we're there, so I prepped a cake. Um, I'll show you when I unwrap it. So we just cooked the base of the cake and then it's a pudding cake. So I'll make the pudding, I'm bringing ingredients for the pudding. I'll make the pudding, put it on there, and then the whipped cream, put that on there, and then we'll serve it. So it's like halfway assembled. We also made some fresh homemade cookies that we're bringing in a container. Um, I've brought them in a Ziploc bag before, but containers like this, like this helps things from getting smashed. So if you have that, do that. So we're also bringing this container. I actually use this for storage for other things when we're not camping and so I just empty it out and use this multi-purpose for when we're camping. Let me show you what's in here. So we're bringing a whole thing of syrup. I didn't wanna buy an extra one just to go camping, so we have a brand new one. We made some Muddy Buddies, two different kinds of Muddy Buddies. Um, I brought just a little extra peanut butter for waffles while we're there. And then we made homemade waffles 
Um, we're gonna have waffles one morning, so I made homemade waffles ahead of time, and then I'm just gonna heat them back up on the um, camp stove while we're camping and crisp them up on the like on a pan. So, and then eat them that way. So I'm pretty excited about that. This guy and a cup to make our protein drinks in the morning. We bought some pre-made cinnamon rolls for Oliver's birthday breakfast. Yeah, we'll go to beach camping on his birthday because that's the whole thing. Yeah, okay. So what do we have in this top drawer, Kennedy? Um, chips, popcorn, Doritos, um, cookies, oh, and fishy crackers. Fishy crackers. So this is our snack drawer. It's pretty much a free-for-all when we get there. And you want to unpack everything so when we pack lunches, when it's dinner time, kids can just come in here and grab what they want. Okay, next drawer, miscellaneous drawer. So I'll walk through this with you guys. We have some granola bars for snacks, some Triscuits um, to go with, some cheeses for snacks. We have some granola for breakfast, some um, pretzels for snacks, pistachios, Jojo chocolates. Um, beef jerky, dried pineapple, dried mangoes, Oreos. Oreos. What else do we have? What's this for, Oliver? It's for uh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's for so so you put strawberries in this, mm -hmm. and then you just roast them over the fire. And then they're delicious, huh? Mm -hmm. Roasted yeah, mallow strawberries. They're not your favorite, no. but the rest of us love them. This. Always remember to bring. Cooking spray. Ooh. I mean, cook with cooking yeah, spray this one. This one. at home. I always wish I had it, so That's I added it to my camping list. We had Jello for the birthday cake. Um, some seasoning oh, for the hamburgers we're gonna this make. This is not Jello. This is we got some chocolate and then some condiments. This is Thank you. Laughing Perfect. cheese. Laughing cow cheese for snacks. That will have to go in the cooler or in the fridge. Um, salad dressing for pasta that we're gonna be doing and some ketchup. So, oh, and then a big, a big bag of candy. All right, so now I'll show you what we have in our coolers as I'm packing that stuff. So all this stuff is pretty much good to go. I'll just move it into the back of the truck or pack it up in our trailer. But the cooler stuff is the tricky stuff that has to wait and be packed until like the last minute, right? So what I do when I'm packing for the cooler, I like to get a good idea of what I have to work with the space that I have. Does that make sense? So I pull everything out, put it on the counter, um, and then the other really important part is I have this checklist. So I'm gonna go through my checklist and make sure that I have every single ingredient that I need for each meal. Because don't you hate it when you're camping or you're out of town? And you're like, okay, we're having hamburgers. And they're like, oh, I forgot this seasoning. Or we're making tacos. Oh, I forgot the tortillas. So make a camping list and put every single ingredient underneath it. So that way you can check it off as you're packing. So under hamburgers, we need to do hamburger patties. Kennedy, those are in the freezer out there. Can you go get them? Where? The hamburger patties in the freezer. We have mustard and I'm going to get. I got a new hat. I love your new camping hat. It looks it's for cool. Beach camping. Beach camping, yes. That's okay. So beach. here's my pollo asada. I just bought it at Costco. This is what we're gonna grill up the first night we get there tonight. Then I did salsa. I need my salsa and my cheese. So again, I have these huge containers. Keep putting them into smaller containers so it's easier to store. Thank you, Kennedy. These are frozen. Let's see, we have Thursday, Friday, so we have about two nights where we're gonna cook these. They're frozen solid. We'll keep them in a cooler. I think they'll be okay that way. The cake, we got the cake. We need Cool Whip and pudding and milk. I'm gonna bring almond milk for our morning protein drinks. Just a half a gallon of milk to make the pudding and then also just to go along with breakfast. So we got that. Okay, campfire, we have the mallow dip already and now we need the strawberries. So I'm bringing strawberries. Cool whip, thank you. So that's frozen. Food prep tip, freeze. Depending on how many days you're gonna be there, right? We're doing five nights. Um, so in a cooler, the more things that are frozen, the longer that things will stay cold and that way we don't just have warm water in our cooler by day, by night five. 
So we freeze everything that we possibly can, but you have to kind of think through that like, okay, what night are we gonna need this on? We're gonna need this on night three. This, and I can freeze this and it will be defrosted by, but if I want it, if I need it for night one, probably don't want it for frozen. Okay, so we're using strawberries for roasting, but also to go on top of our waffles for one morning. Okay, and then we're gonna do yogurt cups and granola one morning. Have I mentioned that I'm not a minimalist when it comes to camping? This is beach camping, which I pretty much call parking lot camping. So it's not like we're roughing it. So let's just get that clear. Okay, so we're gonna use yogurt cups and granola for some of our breakfasts and also for some of our snacks. So we're bringing quite a few yogurt cups. These are my favorite yogurt right now. It's Greek yogurt, so there's 15 grams of protein in each one. Tip is to bring food that's gonna fill your kids' tummy. We definitely have the sugary filled snacks and the empty carb chips for sure, but I like to make sure that I have options like protein packed yogurt, cheese and whole wheat crackers. Their stomach is gonna stay full longer and then I don't have them asking for snacks every five seconds. All right, back to the list. So we've got granola, we've got yogurt, I've got the tortillas for breakfast burrito. So when you're thinking about meals, think about things that can either be frozen, depending on how many nights you're gonna be there, or that can be prepped ahead of time. So things like the tacos, we're bringing a grill so we can cook it fresh, but maybe you wanna pre-cook your um, taco meat or soups. You can pre-assemble your soup so you're just pretty much reheating or assembling once you get there. So like a cold pasta, that would be a great idea for camping as well. Burritos. I pre-cooked just some hash browns. Not everyone in our family likes them. So I pre-cooked those, not all the way. You can see they don't look very good because um, I don't want them to be totally dried out. So I pre-cooked them so they don't get soggy and then we'll just fry those up in a pan when we get there. And then the other thing I pre-cooked was two pounds of bacon. So we have plenty of bacon, so it's pre-cooked. Again, just reheating on a pan when we're camping. Okay, I've got a really cool tip for you if you're bringing eggs. I found this container at the dollar store several years ago. It has a lid like this. It doesn't need to open like that. I don't even use that part of it. So we just have this screw-on lid. I like screw-on lids better than snap-on lids, especially for liquid things because then there's less chance of it spilling. So what I do is I just crack open these eggs. I just found it's easier to put them into a bowl first and then I pour them into this and then store them in this container in the fridge and I can just pour out the eggs as needed. So I'm actually gonna scramble them. One of you pearls gave me this idea last time. Scramble the eggs, put them in here, and then I just have the eggs ready to go. One less thing to get dirty while we're camping is always good, right? I actually have some egg beaters in the fridge that I think I'm gonna mix in here because they're about to go bad. So I'm gonna do probably like half normal eggs, whole eggs, and half egg whites, just so I can use up what we have at home. While I do this, let's recap what our meals are. We're gonna have bagels and cream cheese. We're gonna have turkey sandwiches. Um, I also made a salad for myself for lunches to keep things a little bit lighter. Turkey sandwiches, bagel and cream cheese, um, oh, that. and then a pasta salad, always which- needs sunscreen in the morning. Yes, we always need sunscreen. I just- um, Oh, and then I also am doing like a pasta salad, just pasta with salad dressing on it. You can add veggies, you can add meat, but that's how my kids like it. And then for dinner, or then, um, that's lunches. Then for breakfast, we have granola and yogurt. We'll have waffles one day. We'll have cinnamon rolls one day. Plan to just like eat leftovers on the last day. top on and then this can safely go inside one of the coolers 
not worrying about the eggs cracking or anything spilling. It's just way easier this way. So if you're bringing anything like this, I'm bringing some Laughing Cow cheeses for snacks to go with our Triscuits. It's in a cardboard box. I'm just throwing it in a Ziploc bag so that way it doesn't get soggy when it's in the cooler because the ice melts and gets things wet. These are guacamole cups that'll be really yummy with the chips. Mainly they're just for the breakfast burritos. So I just brought a couple and I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag to make sure that they don't go all over the place. I'm gonna bring some apples for snack. Putting in a Ziploc bag just to keep things organized. We've got our apples, we've got the lunch meat, we've got some sliced cheese for sandwiches and burgers. So I pre-cooked some pasta and I also pre-made some chicken salad. That'll be good for lunches as well. Alrighty, so here is all the food that needs to go into a cooler, minus the drinks. We'll get to that in a second. That's not too bad, right, for five days? I'm telling you, it really helps that we um, are bulk cooking, like we're sharing the dinner. So instead of having to bring food for five different meals, I just bring extra. So I am bringing like 18 hamburgers and things like that. I have to bring so much stuff. I just have to bring larger portions of the one meal. So love that. Let's start loading up the coolers. So with the coolers, hubby's at work today while we're packing. So I have the cooler. The coolers, I'm gonna be packing them while they're in our truck. Got it kind of like pre, pre-packed because as soon as Hubby gets home, we're gonna hook up the trailer and go. And if I load it in the house, I'm not sure I'd be able to carry it and <laughs> lift it back into the truck. So this is gonna be quite the process. Okay, so I've got my cooler in here. It's not staying open. We used an old milk bottle that I washed out. And then I also just bought a gallon of purified water. Froze both of these. I'm gonna use them in our cooler as like ice blocks. And then as they melt, we can drink the ice water. I always feel like I'm lacking ice water. I want like cold water when I'm camping. So I'm just gonna put these in here, like in the middle. This is gonna be tricky. I'm just gonna kind of put these in here and then I'm gonna like package the food around it and then I'll go get ice and then fill the ice in here. Okay, I think it sounds like a plan. Okay, I brought everything out in a laundry basket. That'll work. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the biggest, heaviest things. I definitely wanna make, make sure that our hamburger meat stays cold. So I'm gonna put that in between the two ice blocks. Definitely wanna make sure our milk stays cold so that'll go right there too don't want to put anything that can get crushed on the bottom so lettuce is going to go on the top almond milk can go on the side eggs right there pollo asada we're cooking that up tonight so i'm gonna probably keep that there right there looks good got our pot noodles not a big deal those cool down lunch meat that nice and cold. Bacon can go on top. This cooler is pretty much packed. I just need to get some ice. This no, is our tiny little it. fridge. It doesn't always work. So one thing I do is I freeze a few water bottles and I'm gonna put it in here to try to keep things cool. And we mostly just use this like a cooler. I'm gonna put a few of these cold water bottles in here. So I'm keeping like our shredded cheese right next to one of those guys, our salsa, our strawberries, because I really don't want these to like get bruised or anything. Seen our yogurt. We've got quite the audience over here. <laughs> You can kind of see what we have in here. We have the frozen water bottle back there, here, here. I have one down here. I'm gonna put one more right here just to really keep it cold in here. So uh -huh. I think that should be good. I can already feel that it's cooler in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The last thing we need to get together and pack up are our drinks. Is potable water at the campsite we're going to, but just use that for cleaning our dishes and stuff. So we bring lots and lots of bottled water and we're also bringing like soda and juices. The fun stuff, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now 
We're on the other side of the truck filling up our Pelican cooler. And side note, we are very happy with the Pelican cooler. They have an amazing warranty. It's just like the Yeti. Is that the one that's like super good? It keeps, we can ha still have ice in this cooler like after our fifth day of camping. It's amazing. So, but again, what I typically try to do is let's put some of these. I have frozen water bottles to put in here. And then we're gonna fill it up with soda and the rest of our water. drinks refrigerated before you put them in the cooler that will help a lot with your ice life so now we're gonna get some ice fill that up and we are done with our food packing all right that is everything every food item we are bringing with us camping I'd love to hear what kind of dinners you guys bring for camping I always feel like that's the hardest meal lunch is fine breakfast is fine it's like dinners is kind of the hard one to think through I'm all about any meals that I can prep ahead of time. So what is your favorite camping dinner? Leave it down in the comments. Let's chat about it. We're ready to go camping. Are you, are you excited? Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe because on this channel, we talk all things to help make our family lives more fun and less stressful. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.